turn with me to the New Testament. And in this uh, topical series, we are gleaning from many places in God's Word of uh, the truth that is needed uh, to fuel our victory. Um, starting in verse 11, besides this, you know the time that the hour has come for you to awake from sleep, for salvation is nearer to us than when we first believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us, I've memorized all this, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in immorality and debauchery. <sighs> How am I going to get victory over that? Verse 14 is really key. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Here it is. This should be underlined in every Bible. Men, get this underlined in your Bible. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for your flesh. No provision for your flesh. So last uh, Sunday morning, we were on the Elgin campus. Uh, good morning uh, in Elgin, and, or good evening. And, and uh, we were on the Elgin campus, and this lady comes up to me. Ah, for the second time, her name's Rhonda. She's sweet in more ways than one because she owns a, a chocolate store uh, called uh, Coco Cabana. Ah. It's like the worst person for me to meet. And she was so loving and so sweet. Why don't you and Kathy come and visit our chocolate store? Well, she told me once, but I forgot. But she told me again. And I said to somebody, hey, make sure you don't forget for me to go to the chocolate store on my day off tomorrow. And so sure enough, Monday morning, I forgot. And here comes the email. Go to the chocolate store, what I both really wanted to do and really needed not to do. But Kathy and I went out for a little morning date. We went out for breakfast and we were just kind of spending some time and I, I kind of talked, we went to the chocolate store. Well, it was worse than I thought. By that, I mean great. It was in West Dundee and we pulled into this little chocolate store and here comes Rhonda, all sweet as can be. I mean, sweet. And, we, and so first of all, we're, you can't give us anything. We're just going to pay for it. I thought that would make the pile small. But by the time we got to the end of it, we had all this chocolate Okay, so is anyone with me on this? Can't say no to chocolate thing. Do not leave me up here. Is anyone with me on this? So, so we brought it home. And I mean, I needed Kathy to hide it. And as it's turned out, I've needed her to hide it again. <laughs> and a third time. Because, I mean, in the morning, I wouldn't give you a nickel for a piece of chocolate. But, um, but I'll tell you, between maybe 4 o'clock in the afternoon and about 7.30 at night, I, I fear that I would take your life <laughs> for a piece of chocolate. Anybody know what I'm talking about? There is no way to get victory over that if it's right here at hand. There's no way. And that's what Romans 13, 14 means when it says, don't make provision for your flesh. My goals of weight loss are now underway with some renewed progress. Um, cannot coexist with a pantry full of temptation. They cannot. I cannot. And so uh, this is what uh, Jesus meant uh, when he said, if your uh, right hand offends you, cut it off. If your eye offends you, pluck it out. Uh, better to enter into heaven missing a hand, I'm paraphrasing, or an eye, than to fall into hell with uh, your body intact. Listen, the body is not more important than the spirit. It is less so. It is temporal. It is now. And, and prioritizing my soul, my eternity, and, and not letting anything get in the way of that. Drastic action is called for. 